words. Shark fishing. Oh, I see him now. Yeah, he's on there good now. We're tagging it for science. It is Saturday, 11.45. Headed south to uh, Florida. And I'm doing some onshore fishing, surfside. I have absolutely no idea what to expect, but I am incredibly excited. I'll be fishing with three other guys, Stan, Will, and Jeff. Always love a good bridge. So it's pretty much been bumper to bumper the whole way past the Mobile Bridge. And uh, as I'm driving down the road, just got a text from the guys that are already fishing of this picture. It looks nasty. So I have no idea what I'm in for right now. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I guess we'll see. All right. I'm gonna to continue to trudge on at 40 miles an hour as uh, I try to get to Pensacola. It's definitely turning into something to explore. Yahoo! Holy moly. It just goes on and on. <laughs> what have I got myself in? Just talked to Stan. Um, and he said it has rained on all three sides of them, but it hasn't rained on them at all, which is crazy. So I'm sure once I get there, the bottom will fall out. I made it. Rain. There are these times, you know, when you have these ideas of shots that you want to get. And you're really excited about it. You've been thinking it through. How are you going to pull it off? and then it starts raining. This is one of those times. But we're gonna make lemonade, right? Yes. Guess what I'm gonna do is switch over to the GoPro. Here we go, GoPro now. All right, so here we go. Time check, it is 4.10. So what am I doing? Well, I've just driven to Pensacola, Florida, specifically Fort Pickens. And I've been invited by Will to come do some surf slash onshore fishing. And I'm gonna let him kinda, or he or Jeff, give us the rundown of what we're targeting and the equipment we're using, some of the ideas behind it. What's up? This is Will. How we doing? This is Jeff. Jeff, say hey. This is Stan. Stan was my Ironman training partner, so he got to see me a lot. Right. Huh. I'm trying to get you back on a bike. Yeah. Not happening. Everybody that watches that video, donate a dollar. <laughs> yeah, give me to 50,000 <laughs> likes, and I'll get back on a bike. You want to give us a rundown of like our rigs and what we're targeting and what we're using? Yeah. So uh, we're going for anything gigantic out here. Um, sharks in particular. So. A lot of black tip run through here, bull shark, um, mako, and the tiger sharks are like a dream, so they're out there. Uh, the rod's on the end, the massive rod, that's a 14 alt, and then this rod right here is a 9 alt, and that's our bull shark rods. Um, and they're all essentially designed the same way, we just got a 15 alt hook on the end. So that last one I just showed you, had it, it looked like it was straight braid, but Jeff said it has a mono leader on it, but this is yeah. the weights we're using. These spider weights catching the sand and keep it from getting blown in the surf. What is that like? Six ounces? That one is, I think. Yeah. Probably six, if I were to guess. Cool. Of course, the second I walk away, we catch the first fish. It's like Stan's fighting it right now. When you first set the hook, it looked big. Can you feel them? Feel the weight? Not feel, I mean, yeah, but he might. When he gets closer, he'll probably start making a run. If he's... Yeah, he. He's probably just running at an angle. Looks There's like a shark right out there. He caught a shark. Yeah, he's on there Swimming good now. 
Is that still, is that catching yet? Oh no, I guess not, huh? So how much line do you think we got out? See what the ship is out there? <laughs> <laughs> About 100 yards this side, I think. All right. We're hooked up. Anybody got time? Time to fish. <laughs> so Stan's still hooked up. Jeff's going to go get the tag. He's got a tag to tag him. You get the tag? Yeah, I'm going to go because I don't know. He could be on this thing for a while. It could be a nice shark. So we're tagging it for science. So basically what they're doing right now is he's walking down, down the shoreline to keep uh, squared up on the line so he can see where it's moving. I'm learning. <laughs> you can probably walk to the water and just try to gain as much ground as possible. Yeah, he's taking it back out as fast as he can right now. Just hop in the water with him, man. Yeah. Hey, run grab my goggles, please. <laughs> Stan, is this your first shark? This is. This is my first time to fish from the shore. Okay. Can you, can you tell what kind it is here? Walk in a little bit. Big black hit. Yeah, it is. Woo! You need a rope? I can probably. I can throw the There he goes. It's all cool, so you had to touch it, Bill. Yeah, pull that leader in. There we go. Boom! Uh, five and a half foot. We're measuring him. Five point five. Then we're gonna tag him. Hopefully before he gets it back in. This tag's going right behind your butt, Will. Don't, don't move. Alright, I'm gonna need those pliers. Yep. Okay. All right. Hook All right. So Hang on, dude. Don't get too close to him. Okay. Just try to stand on his fans. He'll know that he's pretty calm. Careful, man. You want to lift his mouth up and you can grab the very point? Yeah. Ah, oh, crap. Hang on. <laughs> Let's just uh, get off his fans and step back. He's tagged. Oh. One more. Yeah, thank you for the shorts. Good job. Well, that was the baby brother. Did you get a good any like good side pictures of him? Yeah, I got okay. some. Because I'll need yeah. some to send in with the tag. So what's the deal with the tag? It's a uh, NOAA, National Oceanic Atmospheric. They do a voluntary shark tagging program. Oh, okay. Sorry to interrupt, but I think I need to explain the tagging program a little more in depth. Jeff reached out to the Apex Predator program and received three tags for research. This basically is a joint program between volunteer and commercial anglers. According to the website, which I will link below, here's how the program works, and I'll read directly from the website so I don't get it messed up. The National Marine Fisheries Service, NMFS, Cooperative Shark Tagging Program, CSTP, is a collaborative effort between recreational anglers, the commercial fishing industry, and NMFS to study the life history of Atlantic sharks. And between 62 and 2016, over 290,000 fish of 52 species have been tagged. More than 17,000 fish of 33 species have been recaptured. Distances traveled for the 33 species that were recaptured range from negligible movement to almost 4,000 nautical miles. The website continues, data from tagging programs such as the NMFS and the CSTP provide valuable information on migration and the extent of fish movements. The CSTP is also an important means to increase our biological understanding of sharks and to obtain information for rational resource management. So that is what the Apex Predator program is. And that's what we're doing there, catching the sharks, is tagging the fish for this program. Back to shark fishing. Well, that was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. All of a sudden, Good job, dude. Thank you.
<laughs> Looks like you're gonna hurt all those people. Whenever you're walking out there in the water. But... Yeah. Uh uh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I Dang. thought twice about it too because he turned on me real fast. So I was like, oh boy. I didn't play on this. He said, I ain't getting in that one. <laughs> <All right. laughs> that's, the way, that's how you get everybody off the beach. <laughs> yeah. So, what are we doing? We are about to fly the bait out with the drill. <laughs> da, 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 da. It's got a little sand on it. Welcome to Drop Bait Drone. No Special guest. Ease. Adventure. He explores. He explores. Dang it. That's a good try. I know it started with the E. <laughs> you just lost your sponsorship. <laughs> they have an Instagram handle. I haven't I'll posted it yet. Jonathan's supposed to. All right, here we go. <laughs> now that's something. What that mean? What that mean? Yeah. Uh, you might want to grab it. It's trying to go down. Turn the camera off. Take two. <laughs> All right. See you guys. For real this time. Oh, jeez. Here we go. <laughs> That's... What happened? That's good. That's good. We'll call it there. There we go. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, I should have got you to roll. Yeah. Oh. Well, we got two seconds of it. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. That in there. I'll let you do the honors. All right, here we go for drop bait drone number two. All right. Ready. Here we go. <laughs> Woo! Get with the program. Good lord, how far is that? We're going where the giants are. <laughs> We're still going out. Take your drop. Drop it. Drop it. There it goes. Like a glove. That's awesome. It worked. Will's hooked up. Will's got a giant. So what happened, Will? Tell me again. I was out there trolling in my kayak and he hooked up and that thing came up right behind my kayak. Like five <laughs> feet behind my and kayak. And it jumped in the air. And it was huge. <laughs> Is that thing still trying to spin backwards on you yeah. too? Oh <laughs> so glad we Jeez. put it out though. That might have been a tarpon, I don't know. Man, I don't know if they fight this hard. I mean, to be on a six alt, good gosh. <laughs> Sun is setting. Will's hooked a monster. We don't know what yet. All right, who wants to get on the... <laughs> you need I'm a break. dead. <laughs> break. Good gosh. Yeah. No, what what have, have you have got, have dude? Fun. Have fun. That's a big shark. Oh, dude, you should have heard, heard that thing <laughs> come up behind me. Gosh, this is the one. At sunset, I mean, come on. Is it getting better? Is it going back under? Yeah, he's going right. back this way. We just got another one on. Oh, Eric yeah. and I were actually over at the truck cooking supper. Oh, there he is right there. Is it another black tit? You gonna take the GoPro? Oh, he sees me! Oh boy! <laughs> he's, he's still chasing. Oh, I guess that's his buddy, a little ah. fish. This with your hand, you need a hand. Oh, this thing is. Hey, you need to hold the string when you do that? Here. Yeah. Uh, here. I got you. I got you. That's another good one, man. Good night. Woo. This thing died, I think. I'll go grab some pliers just in case. Oh. oh that's a strong one. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, let me get that. I guess we can pack it. Yeah. All right, oh, so we'll get a pliers. measurement. Anybody bring pliers? No. Uh, no, you won't go get pliers? He's, he 
not the same as the other one. So this one's packed, only so five it's the same one. <laughs> this one just fought a lot harder. This might hurt a little bit, buddy. So take the shot. Right. We're tagging him. He's tagged. Okay. You want to try to get the hook out? Oh. He's probably going to be hooked good. I got it. Oh boy. There you go. You want to cuddle? I got a cuddle. I'm going to let you dead kick on it. I don't know if this is a bad yep. idea. What are you doing? <laughs> he wants to cuddle it. It's a lot heavier than I expected. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll get rid of it. We'll let it go. Yeah. yeah. Go. There he goes. He had some fight. Sweet. Good job. Nice. Good job, man. Nice. Way to go. That was our second black tip. Both of them measured right at six feet. Those two kind of happened a lot faster. So it is right at, I guess, feeding. A good time to feed. But how beautiful is this? There's like nobody here. It's great. That's fun. I got to fight that fish a little bit. And man, they're powerful. So as you saw, we got him tagged for Noah. I think these guys fish all day and all night. And then all day the next day. They crave. Go that <laughs>